mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alexandra and I am a makeup channel where I review products for you guys and do tutorials. So for today's video, I wanted to try out new products that have just come out from Wet n Wild and I thought it would be perfect because I know you guys love drugstore products just as much as I do. So what I got was the new Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I got their new Coffee Cat little collection which includes the eyeshadow palette, a lip gloss, and I chose it in La Vida Mocha or Mocha. I got the new Mega Volume Wet n Wild Mascara and I got the new Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. It's not a new formula but it is a new shade and this is the shade Gilded Glow. So now let's get on to trying out these new products. So first, I don't have a new primer, but I am going to go with my fave Change Maker Bite Beauty Primer for normal to oily skin. Just to really test out the foundation and give it a fair chance. Now before testing out this foundation, I do have combo skin. So I have an oily T-zone and normal to dry skin on the rest of my face. So with this foundation, I'm going to see how it reacts to my acne prone textured skin and with my combo skin type. So this is how the applicator looks like. And I got it in the shade golden beige on the back of my hand. And it is a medium foundation with a warm undertone. It looks like it's going to match me. So I'm not a fan of the applicator, but it is like a $6 foundation, so can't really complain about it. So I'm just going to apply this to my skin. Oh, I dropped some on my hand. And on one side of my face, I am going to use a sponge. And on the other side, I'm going to use a brush to see if I get more coverage with the brush or which application I like best. So I'm just going to blend that out onto my skin. Now I am noticing that it is dewy, but it's not that much. It's a nice little natural glow. It's not too luminous on the skin. And with the sponge, it seems to be blending out pretty easily. And I would say it is medium coverage with the sponge. Now I'm going to see with a brush and see if I get a little bit more coverage. And I would definitely say with the brush, I do get more coverage. But I think I like the application of the sponge a little bit better just because with the sponge, it smooths out everything nicer onto the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the brush side with a sponge just to get that smooth application. And I'm going to build up the coverage on this side to see if I could build up this foundation over my hyperpigmentation and pimple. So far I am liking the foundation. It's just a little bit more dewy than I'm used to, but I kind of expected that because it is a dewy foundation. I can see my texture a little bit more, but it's not bad for a dewy foundation. So let's see how it looks as I do the rest of my makeup. So now I'm just gonna apply my concealer and I don't have any new concealer from Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna do this really quickly. And I'm also going to prime my lids with the same concealer as well. Now the more I see this foundation, I'm starting to feel like it's too glowy for me. But again, let's wait until I set it and see how it looks. So before I set my face, I'm going to try out the liquid highlighter. Just because liquid on top of powder just does not mix. And it's more of like a bronzy gold shade. Maybe a bronzy silver. Not really my favorite highlighting color, but let's see how it looks applied onto the skin. And first I'm apply it with a sponge and see how it looks like. Very glowy. Let's try to build it up a little bit more just to get a little bit more intensity from the product. And I would say I like the formula, but I'm not necessarily loving the new shade color because this highlight is blending so nicely onto the skin and into the foundation, but I'm just not loving the color. I would probably like the gold version of this Hello Halo liquid highlighter. Now I'm just gonna set my makeup lightly under my under eye area, 
just so it doesn't crease. And I think I'm actually going to do my bronzer and blush just because Wet n Wild did not have a new bronzer or blush and bake. So I'll come back to do the eye portion and test out the new Coffee Cat eyeshadow palette. All right, so I am back and I know I look crazy right now, but now we can test out the new eyeshadow palette. Wet n Wild had two versions of this palette. One was a more colorful palette and Coffee Cat was a more neutral palette. The reason why I got this palette is because it had more mattes and the other palette had way too much shimmers and not as much mattes to play with. Now I have never tried Wet n Wild's eyeshadow palettes or the foundations. The only product I think I've tested out from Wet n Wild is a primer and one highlighter. So I'm excited to see if these are good eyeshadow palettes. And it is coffee scented, just like how it says on the cover of the palette, which I think is really cool and nice. So first, I'm going into a transition shade like I always do and I'm gonna take the shade Rise and Grind which is this one right here now right off the bat there is a lot of fallout from the palette or that shadow specifically and I'm just going to pop that into the crease of my eye and so far they are pretty pigmented and then I'm just going to blend it out towards my brow and they seem to be blending out pretty easily as well. Okay, so far so good. And now I'm just going to make the shape I want my eye to be, which is like an eye shape. I also love that while blending out, you can still smell the coffee, which again, I think is really cool. I'm also really loving this transition color. It's the perfect, like, coffee brown okay now i want to stick to the warm tones in the palette and i'm going to go in with have the coffee feels which is like a perfect medium warm brown and this one seems to have less fallout from the previous shade as well and i'm just gonna put that on the outer corner of my eye and then blend it out now these shadows feel so silky smooth when blending onto the eye I am just loving the formula of these shadows. They're just really beautiful formulas for the price of this eyeshadow palette. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges with whatever is left on my fluffy brush. All right, and now I'm just gonna go back into our transition shade and deepen up the front portion of our crease nice and quickly with the same brush just so that everything ties in together nicely. Now the mattes of this palette seem to be beautiful and blend out beautiful. Now let's test out the shimmer shades. And I think for a shimmer, I want to use Expresso Self, which is like a warm tone bronzy shimmer. And I'm gonna take it on a flat brush and spray with some setting spray. Just because that's what I always do with shimmer shades. And I'm just gonna put that into my crease because I do have a small lid area and use it as a guide or outline. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, now let's see how it performs with our finger. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger and apply it to my lid. And oh my God, this is such a beautiful bronzy shade. I just feel it ties in this whole look together. Oh my God, it's just so pretty on the eyes. And the shimmers are not a dry formula either. They blend out easily onto the lid. And they're not flaky either. Alrighty, now let's see. I did not get a lot of follow. I did get a little bit with the shimmer, but it's not bad at all. I'm just gonna wipe it away with a brush, which is why I did not take off the powder when I baked, just in case I had some fallout under the eyes. And surprisingly, even though I did set my face, the glow of the liquid highlighter did not go away. So that says a lot and it still looks beautiful. I just wish it was a little bit more gold. Then I would 
so fall in love with that product. The foundation seems to be doing pretty well. It hasn't creased as bad as dewy foundations usually do for me. So far, it's so good, but I did set. Okay, now let's finish the under eye area. I'm just gonna take the same shade, have the cough feels, and follow what I did on my lids to the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna put that closer to my waterline and connect the top towards the bottom. And I'm gonna take our transition shade and blend out how the cop feels. Just so everything is nice and seamless. And then as an inner corner, I want to try cream and sugar in the palette, which is more of a cream shadow, in my opinion. And I'm just going to spray it with some setting spray and apply it to the inner corners of my eye. Ooh, that's a pretty... It's like a more of a brownish shimmer, which I like with this look. And again, it is more of a cream formula, which is something... I don't really see. So far, I am really loving this palette and the formula is just so nice and smooth. I'm actually pretty shocked. I thought these shadows were gonna be drier formula, but they're not. And now with this highlight, I wanna see how another highlight will apply on top. I have a feeling it will emphasize the other highlight more and make it even more beautiful. So I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Waffle Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Syrup and apply it right on top. Oh yeah, it is definitely making it pop way more. Yes. Woo! This is a really good base product as well as and a standalone product. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with my nose. I love it when highlight just stands out like that. And now, the next product we are going to try out is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. And I have never tried Wet n Wild Mascara, so let's see. I'm pretty picky when it comes to mascaras because I literally have no lashes. So I want to see if it gives me volume and if it gives me length. I always look for both when it comes to mascaras. All right, now let's open this up. I love the color of the mascara. All right, and the applicator, it is pretty big than what I like because I have small eyes. So there's a risk of it getting it on my eyelids, which is something I don't want. And I don't like these because when I go in with my lower lash line mascara, it's a lot easier for me to mess up. I mean, I'm not mad about it, but it's just something I prefer. I prefer smaller wands. I'm gonna apply this to the outer corners first of my lashes because I like those to be emphasized for that cat eye shape effect. And they are separating my lashes nicely. Now let's see if it gives it a little bit more volume. It is definitely lengthening my lashes though. I'm definitely noticing that. And it is not a drier formula. Some mascaras are drier. This is more of a wet formula. So this is how it looks. There's a huge difference between both eyes. This one's more lengthened. Not a lot of volume. So now I'm just going to do the same thing on this eye. And now I'm just going to do my lower lashes. Okay, so, so far I am shocked with this mascara because even though it has a big wand applicator, I didn't mess up on my lower lashes and I didn't find it hard to do my lower lash line mascara. And the reason why I think that is because towards the beginning it is tapered towards the top. And so it is easier to do your lower lash line just with the beginning of the wand because it is smaller. I do like the mascara because it separates my lashes nicely and it gives me beautiful length. I just wish it gave me a little bit more volume. And then our last product to try, which I think the color is beautiful and I'm loving it. It caught my eye as soon as I saw it and I got it in La Vida Mocha. And this is the shade, it looks so pretty, it's like a beautiful nude shade. And here it is, swatched on the back of my hand. 
oh my god and it smells like coffee too like the eyeshadow palette which i'm loving i love a good scented gloss and so i'm just gonna apply it to my lips and i do like the applicator as well it is a flat applicator so it makes it easy to, to get around the edges of my lips the formula is not sticky feels comfortable on the lips and i love the smell it's not too overpowering but it's just the right amount that you could smell it even while on the lips i do love the color it is a pinky nude that i think will look so beautiful on top of lipstick like right in the center would be just perfect for a combo like that but on its own it is still very beautiful one thing i am noticing is i think that the highlight is a little too dark for my skin so i'm noticing a little bit of a cast all right now i'm going to apply some lashes and i'll be right back all right guys so i am back with my lashes on and now it is time for my final review on all these products from wet n wild okay so first the foundation i thought was beautiful it is a little bit more dewy than what i'm used to but right now that it's set in the right places it stopped creasing it looks nice on the skin once it's set it doesn't emphasize any texture but when i had it set i did notice some texture on my skin because i do have a textured skin type and i have acne but once it's set it looks nice it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it has buildable coverage from medium to medium to full not exactly full full coverage but medium to full and overall i do like the foundation but it's not my fave foundation. There's other foundations out there that give me a little bit of that natural glow, but not emphasizing texture, like the new NARS Soft Matte Foundation. If you haven't seen my review on this foundation, go ahead and check that out. I will put that up on the screen. But yeah, not my fave, but I do like it. Next, I tried out the Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. I do like the formula of this product. It is beautiful and shiny on the skin. It melts into the makeup. But I noticed that it has created like a gray cast on me. You can see it when I look straight because it's just not the color for me. But I will pick this up in a more gold lighter color. So I really do love this formula, just not this color, which is Gilded Glow. The eyeshadow palette shocked me i'm telling you it shocked me it shocked me the formula of these shadows are so silky so smooth they blend out easily and you could compare this to high-end makeup eyeshadow palettes it's that good and i definitely feel like wet and wild is doing a really good job with this eyeshadow palette with the formula of the shadows because let me tell you there's some drugstore eyeshadow palettes that are just dry formulas but with this one it is just so nice and smooth i love it i love the color story you could use you have warm tones you have cool tones it's a beautiful everyday palette i love the smell of this eyeshadow palette and the price is amazing the mascara was the next product i tried and I do really like it. it. I like how it separates my lashes and it lengthens them. I don't know if it's my fave or if it beats my most fave mascara, but it's definitely a close contender. And then the lip gloss. I love the gloss. I am a gloss girl. You can't go wrong with the lip gloss. I love the color of it. I love the smell. It's not sticky or heavy on the lips, and it's just a beautiful lip gloss. But I think out of all of this, the product I love the most has to be the eyeshadow palette. Overall, these products were pretty good products, and yeah. If you liked this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have these products. What are your opinion on these products? Do you like them? Also, let me know in the comments any other videos you would like to see from me. And alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!